everything else has frozen in time. Aelwyn has just pocketed the palimpsest with Ostentatia Wallace inside it. There is a matter of great <laughs> consequence of happening upon the roof of this building. You clamber to the roof to see your fallen I companion. go into a rage. Ada, you fully just lose it. You're casting Tasha's hideous laughter. That <laughs> spell wouldn't work on me in a million <laughs> Welcome back to Fantasy High. My name is Brendan Lee Mulligan. These are our intrepid heroes. Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, hi intrepid hi. heroes. I love it. More each time. Guys, last we left off, you guys were on the roof of <laughs> Ostentatia Wallace's house, where you still are. Uh, Aylwin Abernant is laughing hysterically, uh, and you guys are surrounded by Hudal students that are stopping here and flying, and spells are going off. Percival Neville Smythe stops and says, My goodness, what an absolutely smashing use of Tasha's hideous laughter! <laughs> it looked, from what I could see, obviously time and its movement had been somewhat subjected to a transmutational effect, that you had rather a Terrible conflict. The, the combat seemed quite gregarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, there's no need for that. No, we already trashed these men's uh, houses. Uh, I think, first of all, we need to make sure that Aelwyn cannot do any more magic. <laughs> so. Uh, I would like to pull I have off old person. a sock and shove it into her mouth. Cool, we could do that too. And then <laughs> tie up her hands in such a way that her fingers are also yeah. not. Yeah, able let to her move. Fabian and tie her up. Yeah. Isn't she wearing like a little crop top or something? So uh, she is. She has a sort of shirt tied to midriff. I'm going to create a minor illusion to um, make it look like she has a little fat fold to try and make her feel better. <laughs> I'm knocked out on the ground right now, I think. Riz? Oh, yeah. I Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. What were we doing? What do I have left? Uh, Riz, in the process of making some uh, death saving throws, uh, nine it gets nine hit points from a healing word. Nice. Uh, oh, and then another eleven. <laughs> Why not? Another like eleven. Oh, twenty. Yeah. Great. Twenty. Uh, you guys see all the Hudal kids start going like. Well, as per usual, a Hudal house party has ended in elemental chaos and destruction. <laughs> yes, it has. Do these cheerleaders come to your parties a lot and cause trouble? Uh, uh, the young women at our school hold their own parties that are obfuscated from divination and they don't invite us. Mm. So we pay Aylwin Abernant to come and create these elemental cheerleaders so that the party is not a sausage festival. Will you... <laughs> Uh, say that again, but to my parents. What's that? Will you tell that to my parents? I oh, can I take out a crystal and record what it's yes, saying? Yes, please do. I take out a crystal and I say, just say it again. As I've just previously stated, yeah. mm -hmm. myself and my friends are repugnant to those of the fairer sex in our school. No, 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 not insulting mm -hmm. yourself. Talk about her <laughs> sister having parties. Ah, very well. <laughs> so, uh, in order for our parties to not be such a sausage festival, <laughs> we Dad. have paid Aylwin Abernant to come here, sell us drugs and liquor, and create elemental cheerleaders that we might kiss upon the mouth and dance oh. with. Uh, Isn't that a thing that is against school rules? The kind of thing that might get you kicked out of school? Hmm. Well, to that I would simply say, <laughs> gone. The Hudal students start disappearing. This could have been your life, Adine. Wait, Adine. Do, we, wait, do we have the crystal that, that girl? Yeah, had? can we it's in search It's in Adine Adine's for... pocket. It's yeah. in Aylwin's oh, pocket. Oh, so. I would like to Thaumaturgy myself into some sort of demonic goddess, look <laughs> Elwyn in the eye, and uh, use my whispers of terror on her to intimidate her. Uh, go ahead and give me that intimidate. Do I get, uh, do I get, because uh, it's whispers of terror, do I get like advantage or anything? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't even need it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think at least. I would like to Thaumaturgy and be behind her with matching eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 24. Uh, you got a 24. Yeah. Uh, uh, you see, Aylwin looks up at you, uh, terrified. She's been restrained, she's been fully defeated. Uh, she looks up at uh, her sister, who's hit her with this spell, uh, looks terrified. 
I take one of my um, I take one of my nails that's been filed to look like those vampire nails because I did that in the uh, in the time we had. I brush her hair out of her eye and I say, "Where do you and your <laughs> party?" <laughs> they party here. No, they have a different party. The girls have different Um, you see, Aylwin goes. Oh, this is right, the sock. We have to take the sock out of her mouth. Pull the sock She's out. gonna cast a spell. I party here. I get paid to come here, as the young student said. This is where I go. So you don't even go to the fun party? What a waste. Uh, what you, it, waste? you guys hear a noise of a car pulling up into the driveway uh, with like magical spider webs hanging from the window, smashed windows, things are on fire and have been, you know, electrocuted and otherwise destroyed. And you hear a voice say, Oh, God dang, my house! And you see there is an unemployed dwarven dad, <sighs> you know, sort of jacket going, Oh, God! God, I couldn't afford the insurance this month. Oh, can no! Can I I'll use my this. mending can trip to mend everything that I can? <laughs> You're like, Putting some like shingles one by one back on the Can I just do room. minor illusion to make it look like it's better than anything else? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so sorry, sir, and I think that you might want to call the police because I have very bad news. Your daughter is unfortunately trapped in this crystal, and this girl did it. You see that he says, oh, oh, thanks, I guess. Oh, God, ostentation, my sweetheart. First, that dang poison tea, I can't keep her safe. Yeah, I should probably just put her in Mumple. No. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. She's no. She's such this, a good this, this is not on you. This is on the world within you inhabit. Oh, God. Easy takes his crystal out of his pocket, dials a number, uh, and within a moment or two, you guys hear sirens approaching. Um, well, let's ask Ellen. Um, yes, Ellen. Why, 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 are you you putting, putting... why are you putting girls in the diamonds? I'm still intimidating her. Whispers of terror. I'm whispering in her ear. You see, she says, this was my first try. Where did you get the idea to do it? Oh, was can it I do Penelope an insight check? On sure. Her? I I can't get lower than an eight because of my thing. <laughs> so I got like a ten. I think. Oh, I got a uh, twenty-four. Great insight. Um, you see, your sister looks at you and says, "I think you all well know." where I got the idea from. Was it Johnny Spells? No, was it Penelope Coach Clearwater? Coach Daybreak. Penelope Clearwater? Oh, you really have no idea. Oh my was goodness. it my dad? Or do we have all the ideas we your need, and we're just waiting for you to come clean so that we don't kick your If you're going to kill me, just kill me. We're not going to I kill, no you. Going kill you. We're just going to make you go to Mumples, which is much yeah. worse. You can't make me go to Mumple. I don't oh, see why not. We we'll fit in perfectly. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you can learn to be an innkeeper or a shopkeeper. Or um, a... can I can I say, hey, um, don't you in your jacket have that Mumple school uniform? Oh, in her I size? do. I have exactly that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Insight check, see a look of genuine fear in her eyes. And has somebody cast something on you? Uh, the cops pull up, and you see that your mom gets out with a couple other police. Cool. Think... Hey, mom. <laughs> no. God, <laughs> honey. Sorry. What's going on? Okay, so this girl, uh, she put a, another girl, the ostentatia, in a palimpsest. Um, we were trying to uh, stop her, and uh, here we are. We did. Uh, well, good job. Please stop taking the law into your own hands. Um, yes, ma'am. <laughs> see, uh, she uh, comes up. You, she like escorts you guys down off the roof. They get like a ladder up there to help you guys get down. You're sort of in the front. I climb yard. down the chimney. Yeah, anyway. I flip off uh, of my own accord. Yeah. I jump into the pool. I use the link to go down <laughs> into my The ladder's for that. <laughs> I take the ladder, I definitely. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Uh, you see, she goes, okay. Um, uh, she looks over at Aylwin. A car pulls up, 
Angwin and Arianne one step out. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Uh, you see that she... Uh, Such warmth. Here I am, Matt. Here I am. <laughs> yeah. uh, you see that... Angwin, your father, steps up and says, I'm so very sorry. There's been a misunderstanding. Myself and my children are uh, covered by diplomatic immunity. Please release my daughter at <gasps> once. Yes, but she's going to get in trouble, though, isn't she? She put a girl in a, in a palimpsest. What, what kind she of... She came to a party. I'm not allowed to go to... She's not allowed to go to a party. She said she was going to study. Well, there's no way of knowing that she wasn't here to study, either. She wasn't. Is there any proof of that? Oh, oh, yes, we, we, have we have a video. Okay. Oh, yes. I, play the, I play the thing of the little kid talking. Well, I don't know that little human. Check her room when you get see home. Doll. Um, hey, uh, can I pull Ad uh, Adan aside? Um, hey, should we steal your parents' car and go back to your house before they get there? Because they're definitely going to clean up after your sister. I mean, why don't we just yeah, get on the bike? I'm awesome. Just go? I'm I mean, awesome the three of us could sit on this, fit on the bike, and then yeah, go. Yeah. You get in a backpack, and you then... guys go. Yeah. I have one last uh, way to see, gather a little intel. Detective Guck Gak is speaking to Angwin, who says. Uh, excuse me, uh, madam, if you would care to... You see that she looks and says, we've met, sir. I was in your home earlier tonight. I'm so bright red with embarrassment mm. and anger. He, <laughs> uh, he looks at her and says, release my daughter from these handcuffs at once. You see that your mom gets a look in her eye, like this goblin look, like her pupils like slit a mm. little bit. And she says, well, sir... Uh, your diplomatic immunity obviously comes from your position as a diplomat and extends to your family. However, diplomatic immunity can be revoked if any member of that diplomat's family feels unsafe in the presence of said individual. I feel unsafe. Oh, well, we gotta take her in for custody. Thank you, young madam. Uh, you see that she grabs Aylwin, like jumps up to grab the back of her head and like puts it into the cruiser, throws her in the back, slams the door. You see that your father turns and says, what have you done? A member of this family in a in a, a goblin's jail cell. She tried to murder me. I I, I be that as a, you you let her go at once. Unapprehend that young woman. Uh, you see that <laughs> your mom turns, looks at him, and says, uh, "Your Eminency, with all due respect, suck my." D you. <laughs> if you have any problems, you can come downtown, or I can ask your daughter if you make her feel unsafe. Nice. I'm so you glad that's so cool. cool. I'm so I just glad love you're so much. Just a strong mom. So Can I come and stay with you guys with the <laughs> tiny <laughs> uh, You see that she gets into the cruiser, looks at you, and says, "Home." Yes, ma'am. Uh, she takes off in the cruiser. And they're going back to the. They're going to the. They're going downtown with her. Downtown. Uh, the uh, the Abernets look like they're standing here and discussing things for a moment. I'm talking about I'm talking about where is um, go to so right now. I'm talking about Aylwin is going to be in the in downtown in the prison. Yeah. Okay. As she's loaded into the cruiser, right before the door closes, she looks over at you and goes, "Oh." <laughs> 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 Maybe it, no. maybe it, we need to go. Maybe yes, it uh, on my motorbike, let's go. It's not okay. What's not okay? <clears throat> Are we all getting on the motorbike? We can't all get on the motorbike. Uh, we can. I'll it's take, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stay. I think I should go down. I have, I want to go. I, I would like to do something at the police office. All right, well, I'll take like, Adine and uh, Riz okay. the ball. And do you we'll, want to, we can go. We'll go yeah, we yeah, cool. go to the police office. Great. Great. Uh, those who go to the Abernant home, you arrive there, Ostensibly, a few like a minute or two before your parents are going to head home. Uh, what do you guys do when you arrive there? So go straight to Aylwin's room. room. Yes. You go to Aylwin's room. And go ahead and anyone who's here make an investigate check. This is what I'm supposed <laughs> You're to do. Please it's, do it's the job. Private just, eye, Fabian. Twenty-four. Eleven. Nat twenty and a twenty-four. Yeah. Twelve. Um, Riz. Um, Riz, you discover. Tons and tons of drugs, money hidden under the bed. <laughs> oh uh, there's like handcuffs. You see, there's a couple of loaded guns. Oh my uh, wow! Just eh, you carry one. Uh, can I uh, can I take those handcuffs? <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely may. Take those I don't even know you anymore, man. <laughs> uh, it's weird. Nothing sexual found here. Uh, you guys, uh, what you find is in the books. You find. Inside of Aylwin's spell books, mm -hmm. the spell you saw before, Modify Memory. 
you see another spell, Conjure Elemental. Mm -hmm. You see another spell that it looks like Aelwyn has researched and crafted herself mm -hmm. with your notes on the margins of it, things that she's copied from your divination books. Uh -huh. The spell has a very disturbing name. It is called Detect Maiden. Ew. Detect Maiden. So she can tell people a virgins? Ew! Oh. It's not so bad to be a virgin. No, right? I know, but why Nobody. do you want why to would know? You detect no them? one who's detecting maidens is a maiden. You're not By here. the way. <laughs> oh, well, you're right. I should I... Have up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had a crazy dream where um, my babysitter, who is missing, uh, was said that she was her time was running up. So I think this is all, this is all bad. All right. Well, I mean, is there anything else to collect? I mean, otherwise we yeah, can. What else? Riz, you also find that little runic thing around the ship in the closet okay. that Adine found earlier. The uh, harpy. Yeah. Do you know anything about these little? Rings I or anything? I don't, um, can I cast Detect Magic on it? I don't think, oh, can I cast Identify on it? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> An effigy used in the casting of long-range evocation spells. This storm summoning sigil uses a carving of the object meant to be ensorcelled that has been made to look as though it is the larger object. The wood used in this rendering of the harpy was taken from the actual harpy itself, making the spell almost impossible to avoid. Notice the runes around the outside of the evocation spell also include an element of illusion magic to hide the spell from powerful diviners, such as prophets and oracles. <gasps> oracles? How? Hmm. Do, is there a timing on it? Does it say when the spell is going to hit the harpy? It appears it already has. The date in question, September 1st of last year. This has been another use of the Identify spell. I mean... Uh, <laughs> but the, the, the ship that went down wasn't the harpy, it was the Cerulean. Unless there was some sort of trickery involved, which I guess is also... A lot of stuff that's happening is trickery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know anything about the harpy? Uh, do I have any ship knowledge? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know who does. Uh, right, well, my father would. Well, <laughs> I mean, let's get back on the bike before I parents. Right, fantastic. Uh, we'll head to my house and I'll text the rest of the group that that's where we're headed. Uh, roll to see if something good or bad happens. Okay. Can we take pictures or anything of this? You can snag it all on your phone. Great. 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 You guys walk out the front door to your two parents coming up the garden path. I'm gonna hide. Let's go out the back. You got a back door. <laughs> you see your father says, it's a very brilliant move at that house, Adine. A diplomat's child cannot be taken into custody. It is an insult to the nation of Valinel. There will be consequences for this. Drastic consequences. Your foolishness. Taking Aylwin, she is your sister. You have treated me like a second-class citizen in this house for as long as I remember. She has been treated like some sort of golden child, and she is no better than me, and in fact is in many ways worse. She's putting children in crystals. She has a spell called Detect Maiden. That's creepy. I understand that sisters are jealous. But maybe if you applied yourself to your studies a little more. I cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> uh, your father looks around. Oh, she's teleported away. That's fine. And he walks up the garden path. Your <laughs> goodbye. Your mother. Your mother stays. You're, I don't know if you're still here. Your father was never very good at recognizing spells. He's not a very talented practical caster. I believe you, and I'm very sorry. You see a little tear forms in your mom's eye, and she walks into the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, with that, uh, we should be Oh, by the way, I'm still here, so. 
Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> Your mom just stared out. Instead of saying it to us to like really like, she was like, run out in like stared ten off. seconds. It's so the best. Uh, I, like, okay. I was like, we were the only yeah, ones who were was, there for that. I was like, at first I was like, is she talking to me? Is she talking to Phoebe? <laughs> exactly. She's talking. To, okay, great, cool. Cool. Let's go. All right. Yes. Away. You guys head out. Uh, the other three, you're still at the crime scene, Kristen, right? Uh, or or uh, I went with them to the. Yeah. You three went to the precinct. Uh, uh, cool. You guys arrive in the precinct. Um, I disguise myself as Penelope Everpedal. Cool. I cast disguise self as Penelope Everpedal, and I want to talk to to try to talk to uh, Aylwin. Aylwin. Um, cool. Uh, you do you walk into the precinct looking like Penelope? No, I walk in looking like Fig. Um, well, I'm, I'm looking like if she's gonna be there. If I see her, I'm gonna go back and then come back in as P Penelope, but I might just wait till right before I go in to meet with her. You take a look in, you don't see an obvious cell where Aylwin is being kept. Uh, you could try to make an investigate check to find her, but that would involve you going into the precinct. Okay, I'll just become Penelope Everpedal. I'm Penelope Everpedal. Um, but aren't, isn't she missing? Aren't people gonna freak out? I thought Penelope's not missing. Yeah, Penelope's Penelope's she, oh, I, I Penelope her was at her house earlier today. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Um, so I go in. You walk in as Penelope. Um, hi, I like heard that, um, I heard that Aylwin was here. Can I speak with Aylwin? You see there's a sort of thick neck, half work guy in kind of a highway cop get up, looks at you and says, uh, oh, the uh, Aylwin Abernant? Yeah. Yeah, uh, she's not accepting visitors right now. She would be if she knew it was me. Can I make an inside check on this guy? To see sure. Oh. oh! Is he my dad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look at this dude, half work, right age, every possibility that this guy could be your dad. <laughs> it would be so simple for this guy to be your dad. And you see that he looks over at him, looks over at you, and he has like a weird familiarity in his eyes. He goes, Gorgug? Oh yeah, uh, I'm, I'm Gorgug. Oh my God. Who are you? You're that freaky kid who steals backpacks. <laughs> I don't, I think there's been some wires got crossed. <laughs> got a bad don't. twenty and then got dunked on. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't steal backpacks. It's sort of this. My friend was being f funny. <laughs> threw a backpack. I caught him. So. Uh, you don't think this guy's your dad? <sighs> Bummer. Uh, you, but you do notice that he seems generally just like as antagonistic and kind of not into helping as these guys generally are. I think you're gonna want to talk to Aylwin, and um, if you need, I could bring Mr. Everpedal down here. Uh, go ahead and make an intimidate check. <laughs> it's gonna be another <clears throat> 24. 24. Yeah. See, so he goes. I oh, tap my fingers on his. Rich girl. All right. Um, you see that he gets up, uh, says, "Come on with me." Okay. Um, he leads you into this uh, room where you see that Aylwin is all done up in you know chains. She's sitting on a bench in a little jail cell. It's like a general holding thing. Uh, you see the cop walks you back and then just sort of stands there. Like, what happened? She looks up at you. Uh, make a deception check. I have advantage, right, because I'm an actor? You do. I have the actor feet. Well, that's gonna be a 29 or a... How do you roll so well? <laughs> or a 26. I have plus what? 11 to deception. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, and advantage on it. You see, she looks up at you and says, my little sister and her friends caught me. Did you get her? Where is she? Where's the crystal? She, she looks at the cop standing right next to you and says, the evidence locker, I imagine. They caught you? Yes. He is not gonna be happy. I know. What are you gonna tell him? I don't imagine I'll be saying much of anything to anyone. <sighs> Do 
you want me to go to talk to him? Yes, I think you should. Okay. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, my crystal is actually dead. Do you have his? Do you know where he lives? And my crystal died because I've been running around all night trying to find you. I don't. My crystal's not. You don't, I don't have anything on me anymore. But I'm saying, where, like, where is he tonight? You know that I don't know. How did he get in touch with you? You got in touch with me. Cool. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, that the cop says, uh, okay, sure. Um, and lets you uh, go use the women's restroom. Okay, I climb out the window of the women's <laughs> restroom. <laughs> and then knock on the front door to tell you. What? To come out. Why are you outside? Fig? Okay, Fig. yeah, let's go. You're knocking on the front door of the police station? <laughs> yeah. We run out. Okay. What happened? Penelope let's ever keep pedal. Going. Okay, we start walking. Penelope ever pedal put her up to it. Okay. Penelope? Yeah. Okay, so let's go get. Yeah, let's go her? rendezvous let's like go, with the well, other people wait, let's, and, let's, let's, and just consolidate intel. Hey, what do we call our group, by the way? The dads. The dads? <laughs> I don't think that fits at all. The daddy, daddy issues. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let's all meet back up. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so I think texted. we probably text you guys yeah. that we're mm -hmm. going to. The so we all meet place. at the Seacaster? You guys meet at Seacaster Manor. Can I ask you a question yeah. about the thing that you saw that with the runes? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's the thing actually casting the spell on whatever the ship is? Like, what would happen if you broke that? The hot oh, But it already oh, happened. It already is it invisible? September, on September the 1st. 1st of last year. But, but why it would it still be going? Keeping something hidden? Well, no, the, I mean, as far as the identified spell explained, it yeah, was it, that the, it, it, it kept anyone from knowing that the spell was being cast or that had, it had been cast. Can oh. we? Can I do insight to check on that? Uh, yeah, you can make an insight check. I should do a perception check. Can you, can you do detect good and evil on it? Eleven. Uh, you look at it. It seems like a piece of arcane magic that is not really either good or evil. It seems like it was a powerful storm evocation that sunk a ship. So it doesn't feel like it's still continuing. No, it looks oh. like it was a. Why would she hang on to it? Right. Oh, can I can I call for my papa? <laughs> You get to Seacaster Manor. Uh, you see that your father is in the drawing room uh, with this banker guy again. Um, you see this guy, Mr. Hughes, sitting there. They each have like a glass of brandy. Your father looks at you and says, Ah, young Fabian, my boy, my oh, no, darling no, boy. <laughs> oh, good to see you. Now, uh, you and your young friends, you, this, you seem to have some battle scars on you. Uh, yes, Papa, another, another, another one well fought. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Uh, uh, young, reedy Mr. Hughes here would know nothing of battle, would you? Uh, See, the banker goes, uh, no, I would not. Uh, well, <laughs> well, it is fine, Mr. Hughes. Everyone has their lot in life. Uh, uh, Papa. Do you know of a ship known as... Oh, wait. Like, oh, hold on. Uh, maybe. Can we talk over uh, here? Yeah. Do you mind if we talk over here um, I'm going to chat with the, with Mr. Hughes. Cool. Wait, yeah. guy. Just to get a vibe from you guys can, you guys can go. Do we? Uh, I don't we, have anything yeah, we probably in shouldn't to say. I just want to mention all this stuff in front of the bank guy. Oh, I was just going to ask about the harpy. No, I just feel like the... We, are, we, are we out of... Uh, sure, you're out of your yeah, shot. We'll I talk don't know what that guy's deal is, yeah. because remember there's weird stuff going on with the bank? Yeah, the bank might be like episode But we don't know which bank he's from. Maybe we just don't have a conversation in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, young lady, I represent KVX Bank. We're based out of Bastion City. Is that the bank that doesn't have free lollipops? We have a policy about not handing out sweets or pens same to bank, people. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You work out of like an office? I work out of a skyscraper at the financial headquarters down in uh, Bastion City. I'm oh, bored. Wow. <laughs> right? All right, what are you going to do that, tonight? Uh, Bill Seacaster looks over at you and says, <gasps> Young lady, why are you bored? Oh, no, I was just kidding. <laughs> he says, Don't you know that me and this fella here are in the same line of work? <laughs> no way. That we are. We're both thieves. <laughs> I thought you were a privateer, sir. What? A privateer. Privateer? Who said I was a privateer? Yeah, Who put those words? I, young lady, am a pirate through and through. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, Papa, sometimes uh, when in mixed company, I'll, I'll describe your chosen profession as a privateer that you might come off as more of a, a gentleman uh, that, you know. It's just... More of a gentleman. But I mean, it's just, you know, in mixed company, it's just I'm not, sometimes the word pirate can be construed as a, you know, something negative. Fabian made out with a hot girl tonight. <laughs> I, I did. Trying to help. Sorry, trying I, to help. So did I, but she wasn't real. <laughs> I'm going to table how proud I am of you for making out <laughs> for Sorry, a moment. I tried. Are you ashamed of me, boy? Not. I could never be ashamed of you, Papa. Then why not say what I am? What? <sighs> I mean, does this man shame you? See, he draws his rapier and holds it to the banker's throat, who just stops. Does this man shame you? Would it bring shame to any of you to have this man as your father? Because let me tell you something. What this man is, I am, but more honest. You ever take someone's home away from them, Mr. Hughes? See, as we occasionally foreclose on a property, I, I've robbed many things in this world, but never someone's dwelling place. I am the courageous version of this man and every man like him. I mean, I certainly think that you're better than my dad. My dad too. I have two dads and they're both great. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he looks at you and says, you and I, raised very differently, and I'm realizing that now. There's no shame in being who you are. I'm a pirate lad, and I'm sorry that that gave you pause and felt like something you had to conceal. And he sheathed the sword. Uh, I'd like to just adjourn to my room for a second. I am so sorry I got you in trouble. I does Mr. Hughes have a briefcase or anything? He does. Uh, Bill Seacaster uh, goes to walk away. You see, Mr. Hughes says, I'd better be, and Bill Seacaster kicks him right in the head, kicks him out of his chair, gets on a rope, and swings sadly off into a crow's nest. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm going to be going. I've been oh. kicked in the head by a <laughs> Can I make an insight check on him? Sure. Yeah, I would like to do that, too. All right. I got I'm just I, memorizing what he's saying. I'd like to pretend to be like helping him get up and stuff, but try to swipe anything I can out Give of his. Give me a stealth oh, check and a sleight of hand. I will, I'll also, um, I'll just play some music to try and distract him. What's your favorite song, Mr. Hughes? Right. Not now. Stealth, mm. 19, <laughs> sleight of hand. So good, 21. Uh, what do you want to grab for this guy's wallet, business card? Um, let me grab for his, uh, car, just something quick. Um, uh, you grab a card out of his, okay. uh, out of his coat. Um, uh, uh, Fabian, do you head off to your room? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys see Fabian uh, walks off into Seacaster Manor. So we should probably leave, right? Because we're just in someone's house, and Maybe they're we both. Should no, we, go should. To we should go to Fabian's room. room. Fabian's room. And... To Fabian's you think that Fabian this wants this? Let's, Let's just try to cheer him up. Let's okay. just go to Fabian's room. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> We'd like to go up to Fabian's room. Uh, the card you get says Alston Hughes, KVX Bank. Uh, you see that the KVX is this little slanted red logo, KVX Bank. There's a, uh, his like crystal number on it, a location of like an office down in Bastion City. Uh, the department that he is a part of um, uh, is special investments. Can I do an arcana check on the logo? Give Ooh. me an arcana check on the logo. I like that this assassin. Seven. Move. Uh, 14. 14. Um, K, V, X, like Roman numerals, like V. What is V, X? 50? Well, but. <laughs> no. Uh, v, X is five and then 10, ten. but for K, it's not how you would do it. Well, K is isn't it minus if it's on the left side? Yeah. Oh. No, but if you, uh, I mean, 10 minus five is just five, so it would just be five. So it's not Roman numerals. Right. Okay. You guys head over to Fabian's room. You guys haven't been to Fabian's room. Fabian, what's your room look like? Uh, it's like very like cool. It's like <laughs> it's like there's not like a ton going on. Like the floor is like clean as hell. The bed is absolutely massive. Uh, and then there's just like there's like a massive picture of my father over my bed. Uh, and then like a bunch of like heirlooms and like different uh, like 
uh, trophies that he'd won or that I that I especially liked all over uh, and I'm hung up. <laughs> wow. And I think I'm just like on my side of my bed, like looking away, like out the window, very, very sad. I am hey, so Fabian. sorry I got you in trouble. If it's fine. But Fabian, also, like, you have made some Gnomish whiskey. What? Have some Gnomish whiskey. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Oh, that's disgusting! Oh, my God! I stole it from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of the elvish wine left? Yeah, fine I think, elvish wine, yeah. I think I would like I have a flask to have each. a drink. I'll try some alcohol. Should yeah. we all just get no drunk right now? I guess. <laughs> is, it, is it the mood? <laughs> I'm not gonna get drunk. What do you have? Could I try something? This I've got tastes fine crazy. Elvish wine, fine Elvish Elvish wine. vodka, and Gnomish whiskey. I'll have some of the Elvish wine. <laughs> Okay. When we do uh, like <laughs> wine and bread at church, they always use grape juice. I've never had actual wine before. Go to town, girl. Shiz this is crazy. You see that Cathilda, the halfling maid, walks in with a bunch of shot glasses. All oh, right, children. Well, hello there. And would you like something to drink? How did you um, know? I guess I'll do a shot. Yeah. Well, can we have a little bit of uh, tequila here if you'd like? And so little, I can cut some lines. You have a tray of tequila. A little tray of tequila for yes, the master's son. Please, and Cathedral, could you make my favorite snack? Of course <laughs> I can. You see that she takes a little tin, unwinds it, little thing of kippers right in front of you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and any snacks for the rest of you? I've only seen this on movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep them coming! Yeah, I'll, I'll take Can some I let the smoke in here? Of course. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm good on snacks, I think. I'm not gonna eat. Right. How crazy that we were at a party and we're just now partying. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey Cathilda? Yes? I wink, I give her a little bardic inspiration. <laughs> well, thank you very much, lass. I appreciate that. Cathilda, would you leave us? Oh, I'll do that right now. Thank, thank you. you so much, Cathilda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, right, and you're welcome. She walks out. I'd like to like, lock the door. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't. I don't want to be this guy while we're having a party. But uh, Fabian, we should. Why do you think your dad's talking to this bank guy? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Right, my father's in all sorts of business. I mean, he's, he's stupid wealthy. I know none of you have wealthy parents. I, I have wealthy parents. You have wealthy parents. I mean, you know what it's like. Our parents are involved in all number of things that I have no idea about. It's terrible. Special investments is what that guy was Should we, we go to Bastion his... City? Road or trip. Or we can just <laughs> maybe I mean, why don't we? Why don't cell we... phone and text this number. Or we can maybe look up what special investments means. Yeah, I can we see I'm if we can go to this hurt? <laughs> I am so I'm hurt too. Yeah, we're pretty but, hurt. And I don't have any spells left. Should we, but. do you have like a dope computer? Of course. <laughs> I've got multiple dope computers. I mean, what do you want? I have, I, I've literally You'd bought like anything I ever KBS. wanted. What? A whole wall lights up. <laughs> oh my God. Avast! Hello, baby. <laughs> uh, good to see you, computer. Uh, <laughs> my friend was hoping to use you. Oh, wow. Hi. Hardy har har har. <laughs> Lower the main sail. Ah. Uh. Ahoy. Um, hey, please don't talk to my computer yes, like that. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, mm, hmm, sorry, I've never spoken to a computer like this before. Uh, can you do a fantasy Google check on, <laughs> <laughs> on KVX investments, KVX bank, special investments? <laughs> 16 men on a dimension. Oh my God. You go to KVX's homepage. It's a large private bank. Do they have like a mission statement on their website or something? Oh yeah, let's get into the depths. Let's get into the about You page. go to the about <laughs> section. <laughs> Who ever thought a game of <laughs> 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 Who thought we'd get to looking at the about section Is of a bank's F website? Yeah. 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 website? Can we hack into yeah, the, the profile actual... of this specific banker who was here? Like his oh, yeah. picture and all that? Alston, Alston Hughes. Uh, yeah. You go. You find Alston, Alston Hughes. Hughes. Uh, it has a little thing for him that says, head of special investments, helping yeah, the bank make specific individual investments to further the dynamic mission statement of this bank. Mm. Is there a... A What's Reddit the Reddit equivalent where people can oh, talk yeah. about? Oh, hold on, uh, computer, pause. Uh, what exactly are we looking for? I mean, I'm unclear as to the information that we are hoping to acquire. Well, well we know, here's what we know. We know that Penelope Everpedal is involved somehow. Yes. Yeah. We yes. know that she is the reason that Ilwyn did what she did tonight. We also know that bank is shady as hell. 
Well, yeah. we have one <coughs> maybe thing and one very clear thing. Do we know what Penelope Everpetal's parents do? I don't know anything about I don't know, but when Except I went in she there, wants to be... She always hangs out with Dane, right? Computer, please fantasy Google search Everpetal. <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. Thank you. <laughs> See, there's like a little social media profile. Penelope Everpetal. She's got a little filter that has like a crown on her head, and she's kissing Dane. And there's another thing of her on a trip to High Court, and a thing of her on a trip to Fallonel, trip to Calibramore. All she's sort of making the same face in she each takes one. Takes a lot of vacations. There's another one uh, of her, a young one with her and Sam Nightingale on it. Hmm. She's. But that's one of the missing. Who girls. are her? Yeah. Who are her? We knew that. Sam uh, go ahead and give me an investigate check. Okay. We want to find out who her parents are and why yeah. she's rich. Twenty-seven. Oh, great. Twenty-seven. You dip into these. You go not through her tagged photos, uh, but you find a way going through like a mutual friend and dipping through to get to one of her photo albums, which says like old photos that she's untagged herself from. There's a little sort of. Best friend forever photos of her and Penny Luckstone, mm. her and Katya Cleaver, her and Danielle Barkstock, her and Antiope Jones, her and Sam Nightingale, her and Ostentatia Wallace. You see one posted earlier today of her and Zelda Donovan. <gasps> Zelda. Zelda. Wait, what? Your girlfriend. Your girl. Oh, we're not dating. <laughs> yeah, right there, yeah, he does not have a girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he has more right. of a girlfriend well, than you do. All of these oh, girls okay. are missing, right. and I then there's a picture of Zelda. So Zelda's, yeah, Zelda's next. Yeah, bringing that up. Uh, do you know where should... Zelda lives since she's your girlfriend? Did you ever get a she's number not from my her? Girlfriend, Did you guys? get a number from her girlfriend? I didn't get a girlfriend. I didn't. I... <laughs> you didn't get a girlfriend? <laughs> I didn't get her number. Okay, what? so we think that Penelope's a bad guy. Right. Yeah. Oh, she's we know that she's a bad, bad guy, but what like what do we know that's going on in the world? I took notes about what we had in the past. Okay. So let's see. We had you you had the stuff that you told us about, which is uh Calvaxis was the like main bad guy in the red waist and he owned right. the and he was like in charge he was like using as pawns the Nightmare King and the Necronomicon, and then there was like a big showdown and then Alexandria defeated him and disbanded the monarchy. So oh, what does that have to do? Because yeah. we know that Coach right, so Daybreak. Calvaxis. Wait, what is Calvaxis? He was we, the bad guy. Was in, the demon guy? Was like the demon guy oh, who like Calvaxis? the night. Calvaxis? Calvaxis was like oh, almost like. KVX. Oh. Okay, so. Like the bank? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the bank. Riz, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? Uh, I, 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 I know something about your dad. Uh, yeah, he. He worked for like the State Department. He was like a had like a disease and he died. No, he died on the ship that sank. He was in the Secret Service and he died in the ships that sank. Your dad died on September first. No, your dad died five years ago. So he died in a, a he different died in a... ship that sank. Why are people still dying in a ship that, that so sank? Much? Wait what? a second, sinking ships throughout history has been used to start wars. No, You're right. Who are they and trying to start a Coach war Daybreak with? was probably trying to start a war when he did the traditional contradoxy thing, because that's technically... Right, breaking down barriers between the two worlds, the two... Uh, what two Countries, worlds? the um, Wait, Spire but... and High Court, because High Court is well, Spire's uh, every... the religious country, right? It's It's... Uh, uh, um, Kiriaki? It's run by the church? Yeah. Maybe we don't have all the answers. Right I don't now. think that we do. I don't think that we do, but I feel like we're closer. But KVX, that, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Is Calvaxis? I mean, if he's some kind of demon, that means that he's immortal, God. right? Can you ask Can you your kill dad a demon? about yeah. Calvaxis? Yeah. Can I text my dad? Can sure. I text Gorthalax? Can text I FaceTime him, actually? Uh, the FaceTime doesn't go through, but you can text him. Uh, I have an idea, too. Maybe, Gorga, you could try to find Zelda's can online use profile. Yes, we do <laughs> have to do start something texting about Zelda. with her. Let's see if. Yeah. What? Yeah, can you text Just Zelda? Just be suave. Just like, yeah, move be cool. Her. Can you guys kind of help her me? I'm going to meet out? you okay. tonight. Tonight? We should. All right. Uh, you guys, you mind if I use your computer? You know, Crystal won't do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, you're right. I can. 
Let him use my your crystal. computer, man. Let him use no, your computer. No, no, he just gets to use my computer because you there's have a There's a bunch of porn device. on there. No, there's not there's a, bunch a bunch of porn, porn on there. There's not a bunch of porn on there. Nobody's looking at your porn. porn. You're right. So much right. Porn. I searched Yo, porn ho, ho, it. accessing pornography. Stop! <laughs> you're gonna stop! You're gonna stop! Pause! Pause! Uh, uh, Everyone, uh, look, uh, look uh, away! Uh, look uh, away! Uh, Do uh, not look uh, away! Do not look away! Do not look away! Do not look away! Do not look Stop! This is my father's stuff. Try to tear me a new one. Wow, that's a <laughs> all right, no, no, there's no need for puns, all right? Wow. My, uh, I, I, you guys, this is a wild night for me. Yeah. <laughs> your dad is looking at porn on your computer? Well, it's a, That's it's a, weirder. It's a central hub mm. or something. Well, I don't, I'll, I'll I don't try know. to find yeah, get into Zelda, Zelda on my crystal. After that. Um, you find Zelda on your crystal. There's the little add friend button. Uh, her uh, profile photo is a black and white, like, filter, like, blurry ink rendering of just, like, an eye and a piece of her hair coming down. She's so really cool. artistic. Cool. Nice I cool. Cool. Do Such not. a cool picture. You have really? to. Don't let Fabian tell you. Add right, friend. Don't right. take Let's dating see. advice from Fabian. Uh, okay, add it her. Okay, and then send a message, too, just like. Yeah. Or will I think go you should chat her. her. You lot. need to chat her. I yeah. have to wait for her to accept my friend request, right? You see that the request is confirmed, and then you are immediately unfriended. Ah. And then a friend request comes in for you, and that friend request is deleted. What? And the friend request comes back, huh? and then deleted, and then the friend request comes back. Can I do an inside check yeah. if, the, if the, she's just having like a panic attack or if someone else is controlling it? Um, it's I'll not gonna the be the best. Thing. It's gonna be a 10. Uh, no, sorry, 11. I got 18. 18. She she's freaking out. Oh. She's like, oh, okay. oh, cute. Oh. Just send her a message, message that says, saying, hey, I don't okay. want to freak you out. Hey. Tell what? her that's it. Tell you her you just got a tattoo. I didn't get it. Do I have to go get a tattoo? Don't, don't, now? don't just listen to, to, to Fabian. And her. don't listen to Fabian. Hey. Now. <laughs> um do you What's want to go that? see some art? Do ask you to go and see some art. I don't art? know. I bet. Like, it's I'm, nighttime, though. What? I can't believe I just found out my dad sank in a ship <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we're helping him for it right now. <laughs> Take some that notes. Totally and shut up, right? <laughs> That's just really um, fair. I will play your favorite sad song. I say, What's up? Uh, uh, how's your semester going? What? That's so bad. Tell Why? Me you gotta I want to know. actively in danger right now. Say that you need yeah. to meet up. You need to meet up. Okay. Don't say you need to meet up, but. Right. Yeah, that's uh, thirsty. Don't say you need, I need to, meet to meet up. up. Say you would like <laughs> to meet this up. This isn't a date. Tell her you the already tattoo did it, got so infected. Right. She doesn't <laughs> no, even know I have a tattoo. I don't have a What does the message say to her? It I says say, hey, we need to meet up. up. And then Big Ed, my semester. tattoo got infected to whatever this hey, is. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up? How's your semester? We need to meet up. We would like. We need. We would like to meet up. We? We? No. You, you, you. I back. Okay. Hey, how's your semester? I think. You might be in trouble, Lol. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, said, no keep that low in that. Be casual. You, you get a response back that says, uh, not much, you, asterisk, good, not, not much, asterisk, not, not much. I didn't mean to type not much. I meant to say good. My semester's going good. Ugh, I don't What's like that Just me? tell her you need she to meet up right now. Hey, she, hey. Says, she says, I'm in trouble, LOL. Like how do you dot 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 lol dot 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 what? Oh my gosh, she thinks that you're like being flirty oh. with her. Okay, well. say uh, let's meet up tonight. I know this sounds crazy, but where are you? This what if we so were just went to like the, get ice cream? Just say that yeah, you like ice cream. Wanna, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, yes, ice cream. Hey, can, do you want to get ice cream tonight? I know that's. Wild. <laughs> LOL. Lol. <laughs> Lol. All right, big Lol. You see, she, okay. uh, you see the, a thing between them. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm emotionally distraught. Uh -huh, yes. There's a long pause, like about a two minute pause. Uh, oh, you, no. I'm sorry, buddy. Maybe she's like. She, maybe they got her. <laughs> Oh no! Right. Don't All say because that. you couldn't right. nut up. You get a message. Got a tattoo. You get a message back from her saying, "So sorry, I dropped my phone in the toilet. I'm on my computer now." Um, what? <laughs> okay. She says, "LOL, 
forget about the toilet thing. That didn't happen. Something else happened. I took a pause in the conversation for a different reason, <laughs> not the toilet. Forget about the toilet thing I said. You cannot date this person. You absolutely she have is, to date this person. Who else is he gonna date? All right, fair. <laughs> wow. Invite her no, to ice cream I mean, she's and say, you're, say we're really gonna nice. pick her up and go to ice cream yeah. and then you two hop on yeah. the bike and you pick her up on she, the bike. Uh, she says, on my way to Basrar's right now, LOL, <gasps> hope that you like banana sundaes because I also like them and then that would be a thing we had in common. That'd be a good for me too. Yeah, and I like them. Over uh, there. Good for you too? That would be a good thing for me too to eat a banana split. All and right, I fantastic. I guess I like them too. I guess, commit, man. I got man. it, all right, all right, cool. Okay. Let's go to the ice cream shop. How are you doing with this? Why are the ships five years apart? Why was my dad on the one ship? What, did your dad die on September 1st is what I'm asking. No, he didn't. no, he died five years ago. But I'm saying, was it five years ago on September 1st? Well, I'm, did my dad, dad die on September 1st five years ago? He actually died on that first Saturday after September 1st, if you remember. He died uh, a couple days later in September five years ago. But maybe, so maybe it's like a weekday thing? It's like a, like a... Maybe the there's first some Sunday in September type thing, or like lunar a, calendar, or it's like a uh, prophetic time for. Let's, can I let's talk uh, on do, the way? Yeah, let's talk yeah, on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, I do also, like? Oh, can sorry. I text Gorthalax and say, "Hey, Paps, uh, what do you know about?" Maybe have him join us at ice cream. Calvexus. Oh, I can say, "Hey, Paps, uh, first off, we're going to Bashrears. I know you got that sweet tooth. Um, <laughs> if not, what do you know about Calvexus?" Uh, cool. You guys head off to Basrar's. You don't get an immediate response from your dad. Um, did you just want to do anything before you left to Castor Manor? Uh, can I hide, do a better job of hiding my pornography? Um, <laughs> can we, can uh, I while do? While he's hiding his pornography, I kind of want to whisper to these guys, hey guys, isn't there something with like uh, how doing something through that gate might not bring about the apocalypse, but might bring back the monarchy or something? Yeah. You know That's who might want a monarchy, thinking. like a captain working with you. You know who wanted a monarchy is Penelope. I, I yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the prom king and queen. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, that's nuts. You think she wants to be like eternal like prom eternal king and prom queen? queen? Eternal prom king and queen. They <laughs> want to be. Her and Zane want to be king and queen of the entire land. There's no way that they could ever reach that level of. Wait, is someone trying carry? to bring the... What do the... Zane's parents do? You don't know anything. Never about that. Her How does Font of Inspiration do work? Because I'd like to heal us all while we're... <laughs> yeah. I'm yes. worried about what's uh, You guys head off. You can do your short rest if you want to. Yeah, you guys go to Basrar's. It's uh, it's uh, like 5d6. But I'm supposed to Should give an extra d6. Oh, right. or Actually, I'm just going to say you guys roll back a full. Great. Okay, okay. Full. Cool. Um, what about spell... We're not. What about spells? Spells, I, no, spells are not. Okay. Um, it's like getting late, and it's like about like 11 o'clock at night. Um, you guys go into Basrar's. Uh, soda fountain's all set up. It's lovely here. Pretty empty, it's getting late at night. In a little booth that's just one of those booths that's like small, like in the middle of the thing, you see Zelda is seated. She's got a little green hoodie that has a little like black silhouette of like a fairy sylvan creature on it. Her hair's kind of hanging down in front of her face. You see that she's got little earbuds in and is sitting. Uh, you see that she has a little rose in her hand, a little flower. Let's see. Uh, Maybe Gorga. Let's, 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 Gorga, Gorga, Gorga uh, yeah, we, we need just to... pop in with Gorga really quick. Like, hey, yeah. make sure you ask how she knows Penny, how that goes back. Maybe try to find out if anyone's done anything weirder lately. Yeah. Like, you got She's this, She's not buddy. your dad. Yeah. yeah. So just don't like, get sidetracked. You're a good guy. Okay. Can I give you're him like cash, a... okay? Yeah, okay. you are. Thank yeah. you. Okay. You're, you're good. Can I use like a little minor illusion to like gel his hair in a nice way? <laughs> your hair kind of pops cool? back and immediately <laughs> falls back <laughs> in front of your face. Uh, it looks great. It looks, it really looks great. It looks, looks great. It looks really intentionally It looks fine. I gotta do it. All right. I gotta go with it. You go sit down. Uh, are you guys making anything to hide? Uh, yeah, I think we'll just, I mean, I'll just be in like a couple yeah. booths. I no, think. Yeah. we gotta hide. He'll feel embarrassed. We'll be on the other side. We'll just yeah. be on the other side. Right. Right. If you guys want to swing the parking lot, no, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get a root beer float. I'm gonna get a sunday. Yeah. I mean, hello. I would like to, uh, as we're doing this, look up a little uh, check on the lunar calendars of uh, when the first and second ships sank to see if there's any sort of significance there. Cool. As you look it up, going back through your notes. Uh, 
you realize that uh, what Sklanda was saying was not that Riz's dad had died in a shipwreck. You're like going back over what mm -hmm. you've written because it'll happen very quickly. Right, yeah. Uh, but that he had died on a mission and you realize that her wording makes unclear if the mission was on the ship as though he was physically on the ship mm -hmm. or if his mission was on the topic of oh. the ship. Uh, so you just assumed because you'd seen yeah. that little ship in your sister's room, but suddenly you realize that it might be even more complicated than yeah. that. Riz, I might have made a mistake. It might not be that it's he was on the ship, that he maybe he was investigating the ship. Interesting. I wonder if I should talk to my mom and see if she'll... I mean, it's... Hmm. It's weird that she hasn't told you already, so maybe... Yeah, I am 14, but now that I'm a renegade detective, that's maybe true. she'll tell me. Uh, that's going to... You see that uh, Gorga goes and stands over there. Zelda looks immediately terrified. Uh, you see that she's noticed your friends here, uh, and she's just, like, pff, wincing ahead of time. She looks up and goes... <laughs> um, your friends here, like, as like a prank or something? No, no. Oh, they're just, they're like, when it, they heard that I was getting ice cream one, ice cream two. So they're just, it's good to see you. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, my friends, they all peaced out. They didn't want, they, did, they were okay. all like, we have, we, we all live in different homes. We have to go to, we right. have to go home. All, all <laughs> my friends live in different homes, too. I messaged him, tell her she looks nice. Uh, <laughs> um, you, you, uh, I look at my, you look Are nice. Are you bored? No, what? no, no. You, what did you say? I said you look nice. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, persuasion roll. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wink? I wink at him. Wink at him, cool, with bardic inspiration. My last bardic. And this is actually just a charisma check. Uh, a charisma wait. check. Gorgug's char charismatic, right? <laughs> wait, do I get, you get you to add, add a d6? d6. <laughs> Flat five? Flat five. What? <laughs> you see, she looks at you and goes, oh. Could... I'm sorry, I'm nervous. It's cool. I'm nervous too. I, uh, your friends are like popular and loud. Yeah, they're really loud. <laughs> <laughs> I take out a violin bow and start playing my bass. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like they're just so loud all the time, and I would just love to just be quiet. Yeah, I get that. My family is super um, loud too. Um, and I'm like the least loud uh, one. That's me, too. I don't, I like to be quiet. Can you want some ice cream? Should I get some ice cream? Yeah, Mr. R comes over. Ah, oh, hello to the young couple. Uh, congratulations ah. on with this, this some sort of uh, anniversary. I notice you have a flower. Oh, yeah. I... See, uh, Zelda looks and she goes, I actually just was, I, and just eats the whole rose, thorns and all. Oh. The ball, did you see that? Did, that, did the girl just eat a flower? Yeah, sometimes people eat flowers. Okay. Uh, I'm, the, I'm part goat, so I can eat super anything. Yeah. Uh, do you want more flowers? No. To eat? Oh, okay. Sure. No, if you want, if you're get, or do you want can some? Can we get a Sunday with some flowers on it? I can only do ice cream, oh. is the thing. So I can do like a, a flower flavor? Okay. But I can't do my very specific wishes, okay? So I get it. Okay. I, well, yeah, whatever. Uh, this flower flavor sounds good to you. And the uh, flower is okay. Uh, do you wish to use your wish for ice cream later, or is someone going to pay? Uh, Zelda says, I can, I'll pay. I got it, I got it. I can, I'll pay. It was my idea, so, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you pay for the ice cream. Uh, it comes out to be one gold piece. Okay. Um, you see that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you see that Zelda uh, looks over at you. Yeah, my family all worship um, the god of wine and ecstasy. Oh. Um, and cool. I, I'm um, I'm training to be a battle dancer and. Battle dancer. Yeah, sort of my ancestors would go wild in the hills and forests and they would um, drink wine and they would experience a deep 
ecstasy and they would uh, rend men limb from limbs with their hands. Um, so cool. Really? <laughs> so yeah. some, people, some people think it makes you like a freak. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I think it's cool. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that's why I thought it was weird when you flipped out on Rog. It was just that I got super... Um, like when you flipped out, it's like that's... Hot. Oh, this is super. Because <laughs> um, uh, I also what? <laughs> no, it's stupid. It says, um, uh, cool. I mean, <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, whatever. That's really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, just like I um, I flip like. Do you I'll, flip out? Yeah, I have to. I have to practice. With Porter, uh, oh yeah, because I can't be in the regular barbarian classes because I flip out too hard for the other barbarians. Really? Yeah, because it's like a it's like a divine thing where it's like powered by the god of wine and and no ecstasy, way. and so there's a it gets really um, uh, disturbing. So I have to do. It. I bet it's awesome. Um, hey, I this feels like annoying thing to ask, but. Do you, uh, do you know Penelope? Oh, well, not super well. Mm -hmm. um, she asked me to hang out earlier today, but... Um, She's been, like, doing weird stuff. We were just, I, me and my friends were just, like, kind of noticing. Yeah, I didn't super get it. Um, she actually asked me about you and if, like, we had, like, right. hooked up at all or... I don't know. She, like, oh. thought it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird. <laughs> it's I so weird. I haven't hooked up with anybody. So. Oh, yeah. I know what you're thinking, but yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I, this leather jacket and stuff. It's a f I'm like asking Fig to spike my milkshake because I'm on one right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Drink up, girl. But is she weird? She's like not cool? I don't, I think she's like maybe. I don't want to like freak you out, but I think she's like maybe like a psycho, like um, weird killer person. Like she like might be like doing some crazy stuff, like putting people in stuff. Oh, I'll Ooh. super. She asked of me to hang out tomorrow, but I'll super not. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, maybe you shouldn't. But also, where did you she she say that she wanted to hang out? It's like at school. Okay, cool. Um, what kind of music do you like? Um, I like a lot of different stuff. Like I like screamo, I like emo, I like um, like punk and like some pop punk. I like I like metal. I like rage metal. I like death metal. I like scream metal. Um, I like mad metal. I like hate metal. Um, I like um, uh, mad metal, you know, crazy metal. Mm -hmm. um, I like thrash metal, uh, smash metals. Some of it's good. I like the older stuff. Um, I like uh, slice metal is good. Um, I like chop metal is good. I throw something at Gorka. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. How about you? What, you? what kind of stuff are you into? The same same stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys watched the rest of this very cute ice cream date between Gorgug and Zelda. Can I sneak out and see if there's anybody outside, like Kate, like following Zelda? Uh, give me a perception roll. Five. Uh, coast is clear. Uh, Everything's all have good. I, have I heard back from Vorthalax? You have not heard back from Vorthalax. Can it's I? Really weird. Do a ritual detect magic on Zelda just to see if there's anything weird. Weird going on there. Uh, nothing that seems to be weird. She has a little bit of a trace of divine magic around her, but that's about that's it. It's pretty normal for yeah. somebody who's a. Mm -hmm. Um, what should we do? Like. Someone at all times follow her, like keep tabs on her yeah, to I think and from school. Like, tomorrow we Zelda just need to shadow her. Waves, she gets up and says, All right, well, it's getting late, and my parents, honestly, they get mad at me if I get home too early because they're like, Live life, you know, rip your clothes off, a kill, feel the rush of blood, feel the hot warmth of what it means to truly live. And I'm like, Wow, Dad, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <Cool. laughs> uh, um. Uh, my parents are gnomes. What? Yeah. I'm drunk and I yell, you should go home together! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go. Um, oh, okay. Bye, it was super nice to... Yeah. 
Um, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you at school. I'm probably not going to school tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Bye. Bye. She, I, she runs away. Should we follow her? I think we should. Yeah. 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 Do you want to drive her home? I just got out of that so smoothly. I have okay, to follow her now. How about Give you show up home. with Gorgog on the back, give her a ride home, and then you, yeah. in your elvish ways, can stand guard at her house. Well, maybe. Ball is really good at hiding. I mean, I mean, he needs to sleep. I, I need sleep to sleep because I have no higher levels. Yeah, but didn't you say that like Penelope was depending She's on saying meeting she her tomorrow? She's saying to meet her tomorrow. Oh, so, so. I mean, I feel like it's when school or tomorrow morning early is when we be on guard. Most end yeah. with these people not showing up to school. Yes. Yeah. Is I think we gotta, this says. is just one night we gotta sacrifice. Who feels most comfortable I can, I can just, staking out the place? I can probably just sleep outside. I mean, I only right. got Galir to go home to, and he won't notice if I'm oh, not actually there. Actually, my mom will be super pissed. She told me to go home like six she hours did. ago. <laughs> yeah, I need to get eight <laughs> hours, otherwise I'm very cranky, so. I need to get eight hours, but I mean, we could we could do shifts. I feel like I could go, but I don't. Why don't we do a quick lap on the motorcycle and make sure she gets home okay? Right, everyone, you don't get to dictate what happens on my motorcycle to ball. All right? motorcycle. All right, who's gonna stay staking out her house all night? Because I can, I, I can can't offer. Do it all I'm down to be up all yeah. night. We won't have any healing spells. I think left. you're really drunk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you should go I'm home. You so for sure drunk. need you know, to fine. sleep the most. You guys can only feel what I'm feeling right now. You know, fine. Me and the ball will go and case the joint. The hangman says, Master. I neither sleep nor rest. Oh, perfect! I can keep my watchful gaze upon the girl. Okay. Oh. All right. Fine. My motorcycle will go watch for the girl and make sure that everything's all you right. You can go and porn. <laughs> you see, the Good hang night. <laughs> the hangman uh, begins to uh, roar down the street. You see that Zelda like has her arms up on her backpack and has her headphones in, turns around, sees this flaming motorcycle chasing the street, and goes, Ah, and just runs <laughs> screaming as the motorcycle chases her down the street. No, oh, well. no, we should have been more specific with our. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, hangman, you know uh, not not in the moment. Just keep an eye out on the uh, the house. Ah, oh, the house very well, master. I will destroy the house. No. If any, oh, I will. Just make sure the girl the doesn't house. get kidnapped. Yes, just kidnapped. Yeah, keep an, keep watch. I shall keep eternal vigil on the house until every rock has been reduced to dust. All right, thank you, Hangman. Uh, can I give him a little treat? I want to give him like a... <laughs> Do not give treats to my motorcycle, all right? Uh, you guys head home. Uh, uh, can maybe... I stay at somebody's house? Yeah. yeah. Come sleep over with us. Can right. I sleep over at your house too? I hate my parents. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. lives in the crappy apartments now. So, <laughs> Hell yeah. Or if you say, you go back to the Thistle Vending machine treat. party again. <laughs> I'm just eating a million chips. Hey, Fabian, if you want to sleep time. over, I know you got uh, I'm not, uh, kind of a just, do, you, do any of you have a king plus size bed? No? All right, fantastic. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go back to Seacaster Manor. Uh, can uh, I talk to my father before I go to bed? Uh, yeah, you go up to the crow's nest. You see he's up there. The crow's nest. Oh, can I give you the, I'll give you the model of the hobby. Oh, uh, I don't think it's a diplomatic mission. Well, well, well. Bing, ding, ding. <sighs> Playing me shanties up here in the crow's nest. How goes it, Fabian Aramaeus Seacaster? It goes well, Father. Um, I, I want you to know that uh, I am your son through and through. Uh, I mean, only last week I literally thought about cutting a man's heart out of his chest. Don't try to patronize me with things you'll know I'll love. I, I was going to do it. I, he, he, he was constantly making fun of me for having no heart, and then I literally thought about taking his heart out of his chest and showing it to him, because then I would have heart, but it would be, uh, it, it's not worth it. Uh, Father, um, you're a pirate, and I'm not, but I am your son, and that means more to me than anything. What's that you have there in your hand? Oh, it's a, it's a ship. It's it's called the Harpy. Are you familiar? Oi, we know the Harpy well. Cursed ship that. Uh, what? Some centuries old. That was the flagship of the navy of Calvaxis, Emperor of the Red Waste. <gasps> oh, you don't say. Um, Fantastic, uh, but it's it's gone, right? It, wait, hold on. Did you say it was Calvax's ship? 
It was the flagship of Calvaxis Navy. If, if I were to tell you that this model here was made out of the wood of that ship, would that be surprising or? That be cursed wood then, and I'd see it out of my house as soon as you please. Uh, 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 all right, well, it's, it's, it's not. It's not, so. It says, the harpy was destroyed, along with all the rest of Calvaxis' wealth, long ago. But the Harpy was the most fearsome ship on the Seven Seas. Oh. Uh, it was, um... made with illusory magic. Could go invisible, look like another ship. It could cloak itself, disguise itself. It was a, uh, a true devil on the seas, far before my time, but any sailor knows the legend of the Harpy. And now I do as well. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Father, I must be off. Are you truly the captain of the Owlbears? Or is Dane Blade still captain? I... Uh, well, I am. Uh, am I the captain of the Owlbears? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, was, or, well, he said like it was the talk of everyone being the captain, but yeah, Gorthalax seemed to be really uncomfortable telling anyone they couldn't be captain. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, "If you feel like captain, you are captain." Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> That's my dad. Uh, well, Father, uh, I'll tell you this: I killed the coach of the owl bears, which, in a way, I don't know, makes me king of the owl bears. I mean, I took down the previous ruler. And though I don't sit in his place and wear his crown, uh, I have his soul in some way or another. Your journey with those friends of yours. And I see the way they look at you. Appear. No fear in their heart of you. I do not know what you are the captain of, Fabian. Leave your father be now. Make a perception check for me. Uh, 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 three. Get along then. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Papa. Uh. <laughs> we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old. And you walk away from the crow's nest, swinging so down to your room. Um, you see that Cathilda pops in real quick and says, Right, Master Fabian, is everything all right? It's, it's fine. Uh, it's just, I'm not used to Papa being mad at me. Um, I don't, it's, it's, I don't know. Well, you're, you're growing up. Every parent gets mad at their children as they get older because they're really mad that they're seeing their last chances to make a difference. When you put it that way, Cathilda. <laughs> you see, she pinches your cheek and says, I'll go get some kippers. Oh, thank you. Uh, we cut over to the Thistle Spring tree real quick. Um, you arrive home late. You see your parents are out. Your dad's in like an undershirt. Uh, your mom's in like a sort of like uh, sort of apron and has like little sort of wrap around. It's like hot with like they're like welding together. They're like sweating out and building this big apparatus. You look over and you say, Well, hey there, bud. Well, how are you doing? I'm good. What? You guys are up late. Yeah, well, we're working on a big old project. Oh, what? Uh, what is it? Well, it's a big old power source for the new arcade down at the Elton Valley Mall. Oh. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> you head to bed. Anything exciting happen tonight? Oh. Um. Well, I kind of went on my first date. Ah! Yeah. It's like fireworks. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Well, well, who's the lucky young lady or fella, bud? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm glad that you're open-minded, but it, <laughs> it, uh, it's Zelda. She she goes to school with me. Well, golly, that's so lovely. Well, what's she like? Has she come over? Where is she now? I think she went home because it was getting late. If she wants to come over, she can come over. Do you ever want to? Hey. Let me tell you something. I know you're a teenager. You ever want to have a drink? You ever want to do a smoke? You ever want to kiss somebody? And rather you do it here, under the tree, where we know you're safe. 
All right, bud. <laughs> Where we know you're safe, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Well, now so happy. What? Where'd you? What? How far? What base? We just docked. What's that? You we, docked? We talked. <laughs> <laughs> We talk. Uh, we talk. Oh, that's lovely. Wait, what is docking? That's lovely. What is dock? What's that? Docking me. Well, <laughs> well what you want to handle? Sure, sure, Digby, I'll handle it. Um, docking is when two uncircumcised men <laughs> put the tips of their penises, erect penises, against one another, and they sort of fold the foreskin back, sort of on top of each other. It's mm. so almost like a docking, like when a sort of an insertion, and they are kind of linked together by that foreskin there. Huh. We didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, w I, I would hope not. I would hope not. Uh, it's a little bit much for a first date. Right. Uh, we shared some ice cream. That's that's great too. Hey, and whatever you want to do, as long as everyone involved is having a good time and and you're talking, yeah, you know you're talking. You should check in because here's the thing: you're you're a you're you're a big fella, and one of the important things you got to know is that you got to be checking in with each other's feelings. Make sure that everyone's having a good time, and make sure that everyone likes what's happening. And there's hey, d don't buy into the hype. There is nothing sexier than being clear about what you like and what feels good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to bed, I guess. <laughs> you know what the number one erogenous zone is, bud? Bing, bing, bing. It's the brain, okay? And everybody being on the I'm same like halfway page. halfway up this <laughs> All right. And you know about and you know about birth control, right? You know about you know about uh -huh. condoms, because yeah. that's your job, yeah. bud. It's not just the ladies' job. Okay, okay, yeah, I hear you. All right, wrap it up every time, okay? okay and then keep I... checking in. That's two rules for you, but check right. in and wrap it up. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so sweet. Night, kiddo. Good night. You see, you hear them outside saying, "Okay, we better put. Let's go put some music on. Well, you know he's gonna be in there. He's gonna. He's gonna be. <laughs> you know what he's gonna be doing in there? Let's just give him a little privacy, huh? It's a small tree. Come on." <laughs> He's just <laughs> polishing my axe. <laughs> Google confirming docking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, play some music. Uh, we'll cut over to Strong Tower Luxury Parts with the other four Woo! members of the party. This is, is the best. Is Galir there? Uh, you see that you guys open up. Uh, Galir is in there. You see that he is washing a bunch of uh, what looks like some kind of steak sauce out of the little wisp of hair. Oh. Uh, I cast on his head. That's good. Ah, uh, yes. One of the more unruly children at the school today saw fit to take the Salisbury steak and dump a plate of it on my head. Who? What's that? Who? I'll f up. I believe it was Rog Barkrock. Oh, f well, he's too. Nice Rog is so f mumple bound. He's going right. mumple. You gotta. He's a piece you gotta of mumple. You guys want to know a secret? Yeah. yeah. I think I like girls. <laughs> you definitely we know. do. We we know. Do. You guys want to know yeah. a bigger secret? I haven't told anyone that. Okay. Yeah. I think. Crazy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Don't yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell anyone. I mean, I think you, everybody I knows. think you should tell everyone. I think you should tell Thrasher. What? Who's that? Oh, Tracker. Tracker. <laughs> I was Sorry, about I just to gave say. Her a slightly cooler name. If you hook me up with a Thrasher, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I fall asleep <laughs> <laughs> on the ground. Princeton is totally asleep. Galeer looks at you and says, uh, Adine, I, you've come to spend the night here at Strong Tower Luxury Apartments. <laughs> it's very luxurious. Has a room opened up in your home? <laughs> Why don't you try and ask my parents that? Actually, I'm not even going to put you through that. No. I'm um, just staying here for the night. Galeer, this is the place to be. She's coming here because her house sucks compared house to sucks. what we've built together. Ah, oh, that's true. This is the place to be. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Galeer, can I ask you a question? Do you know about the harpy? What's that? The harpy. The, a boat? A ship? It's a, it is a partially nude bird woman. You don't know about the ship, the harpy? The ship. No. Uh, oh, <laughs> do you know anything about the, uh, the Oracle's ship that sank last year? Terrible accident. Although it's sort of like 
You're an oracle. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, how do you not? You should I'm, know that. I'm an oracle and I'm walking towards the ship and I'm bing bing. All right, wait a minute. Wait, I'll catch ship. the next one. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a hotel room for a night and well, we'll sail tomorrow. You know, they did all lose their lives. Perhaps we could be a, a bit gentle. All right, all right. Fig, why don't Nothing you pack is... it in, all right? <laughs> Blair, I took you back. I I'm took you back as my dad. I'm somehow having dreams about the harpy, the nude bird woman. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk and I have a big, I have a big <laughs> smile. Yeah, uh, you see, you do the responsible thing of turning Christian on her side, you didn't throw up in her mouth. Glare, where's Gorthalax? When's the last time you talked to him? I talked to him earlier today. He went to go have a talk with your mother for the first time. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Cool. They're probably, yeah. I don't know, boning down on each other right now. Oh. Uh, okay. Speaking of boning down, have you seen my mother lately? <laughs> <laughs> what the f? <laughs> <laughs> I figured you guys were, I don't know. Me and your mother. Yeah. Kind of in the. I'll be very honest, Reese. I'm in the market for another dad. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I'll be honest, Riz. Your mother is too much woman for me to handle. Clear. Kiddo, I'm standing here with steak sauce in my head. <laughs> He's not, not wrong. I have a, what I'm going to offer you for dinner tonight is an order of garlic knots that mistakenly came with a pizza I Found. <laughs> How do you know it was How a mistake here? I checked the receipt <laughs> on the outside of the box. <laughs> Things aren't going great for old Galear. Galear, we need to do. Galear, come with the, come to the mirror with me. We need to do some affirmations, okay? Mm. All right. This is too sad. Look yourself in the mirror and say, "I am strong." I am strong. I am powerful. I am powerful. I believe in me. <laughs> Does it have to be true when you say it? <laughs> the idea is that it becomes true if you keep saying it. I believe in me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's enough affirmations for tonight. I'm proud of you, Galeer. All right. I'm going to go jiggle the vending machine to see what? if anything oh. falls out. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone so wants sad. any of that. All right, you see he walks down the hallway. He's in a rut. All right. Um, Should we go talk to my mother? Is your mother there? I, do I know if my mom gets off soon? Um, she gets off in a little while, okay. uh, but you, I also think you just can, go to sleep. I think You're these three go. head okay. to sleep, yeah. and Riz, you head home. Cool. Um, I'd like to set up like a chair in the middle of the room and a lamp next to me. Uh, and I'd like to pour myself a little drink <laughs> sitting in the middle of the room. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of like platonically uh, snuggle with Kristen Applebee's. <laughs> so confusing. Uh, yeah. um, I'm chirping. <laughs> uh, here's what you guys see. At this place, your mom's full case box is on the kitchen table. Uh, Am I there or no? No, you guys are all asleep. It's just chirp, Riz. Chirp. <laughs> well, my mom told me to go home. She left it out. I open it up. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigate check. And you roll with advantage because the whole f case is here. Okay. Oh, pretty good. 24. Your mom's case is being shut down at the end of the week. Uh, it's moving federal. They have not been able to work on the extradition from high court. There's a lot of dead ends they're hitting trying to get the palimpsests back from high court. It seems there's like a lot of wrong information for some reason, and it's unclear to you what the f is going on, but it's like there's a bunch of weird dead ends in their attempts to get those palimpsests back. Um, it covers put it taking down the harvest men and how they got all the harvest men arrested in town. The chief feels like that's the accomplishment. So the chief is pressuring your mom because like we got daybreak, we got the harvest men. This is a win for the department. Let's move on and not keep it as an open case. Uh, so they're handing it off to the feds to handle the palimpsest stuff. Uh, you see, you look at something and that little scratching clue in the back of your head triggers. You're looking at when Biz Glitterdew went to the hospital from his attack months ago. Mm -hmm. 
and Zane Darkshadow's time of death, you see that they have attributed both of these attacks to Coach Daybreak. That because the scarecrow mask, the sweatpants, the sweatshirt, all this stuff, you realize that's impossible. Because the time of death on Zane Darkshadow is incorrect. Because time of death is measured from body temperature. Mm, so he's taking them cold pills, right? Taking them cold pills. So you realize that his time of death uh, would not have been way sooner as they say it is, or sorry, way earlier. Cause they're like, oh, he died a long time ago for his body right. to get that cold. But he was like fresh dead. Fresh dead. It's just that his body was already that cold. Uh, so you see that their time of death is wrong and that the time of death of Zane Darkshadow would have been at the exact same time that Biz was attacked in his home. Meaning that two different people had to have done this. Coach Daybreak could only have done one of them. Hmm. Uh, you also see uh, that a, an amount here was paid back from KVX Bank to William Seacaster, uh, and that there is a amount of money being paid from KVX to William Seacaster in this uh, portfolio. Um, and that's part of the evidence? Part of the case? evidence in this case. It doesn't seem to be that they're going after Seacaster, but it's part of the trust's information that they were able to obtain from KVX. Does it seem like Seacaster is the one that's stopping the uh, high court? Doesn't look like okay. it. Um, there's Coach's handwriting to a contact in high court uh, about the palimpsest, which seems to be the main thing they're going off of, is a handwritten letter from the coach talking about picking up the next palimpsest. Okay. Um, the coach wants a palimpsest or high court wants a palimpsest? He's talking to, a, it's the coach's handwriting to a contact in high court that they haven't been able to locate that is about getting them another palimpsest with another soul trapped inside. Got it, okay. Um, so he's a supplier. Uh, you see that um, Edgar the Rat uh, sort of jumps out of your bag, your little briefcase, and goes over to a little area behind your mom's desk and starts pawing at the wall. Like, what the f Edgar? Uh, I go over and I check it out. Can I investigate it? Uh, yeah, give me an investigate. 24. You move your mom's desk, you feel a little bit of air coming out of the wall, you push and the wall of the apartment opens up. We are not gonna get our security deposit back. <laughs> uh, you, you walk inside and you see there is a little desk in here. It's a dark room. There's like a hanging lamp. There's some, it all looks like super collected dust. You see that there is a little chair here with a picture lying down of it of your dad as though someone comes in here to look at it and have a drink. Mm -hmm. There is another desk up against a wall that has a little picture of you as a baby and your mom on it. So someone had a picture of you and your mom on their desk. Uh, looking around, you see that the desk is clearly your dad's. Okay. Can I investigate his desk? For sure, go for it. Okay. And it's all his shit, so just give me a roll with advantage. Oh my God. Yeah. Nat 20. <laughs> Your dad, you see that there's a photograph of him in here with your mom. Your mom is dressed in like a sleek black gown and she's holding him. Your dad is looking like you never saw pictures of him. He was almost like a clerk, kind of middle management guy. You see that he's in a black tux. He has like a little pencil mustache. It's like sleek hair, calm uh, down, big long goblin face. And you see that he has a gun, uh, there's a, a, a thing of a holster under his tux with like a little arquebus with a silencer on it. Uh, <laughs> you see that in all of this stuff on his desk, there is an investigation he was going into. Your dad was a foreign agent. He went into other countries as a goblin, perfectly able to join up with evil armies to become just another minion. He would infiltrate places for the Salesian government and spy on them from the inside. There is evidence here that he has collected talking about a ship called the Harpy and going into a whole detail of how the wealth of Calvaxis had to be destroyed at the foundation of Solace, you see that there is a note in his handwriting circled around and around 
about a doc certificate where the harpy was supposed to be destroyed. And he says, wrong ship, dud, never destroyed. On another thing, he goes, there's a side-by-side -side picture of the harpy and a ship called the Cerulean. Underneath it, he says, illusory capability, dot, 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 same ship, underlined. You see that uh, there's also a crystal here. There's a ton of like banking information, wealth, following money trails, and you see there's a tiny little crystal. Um, you also see, you sort of lost track of it a long time ago, but you see in here uh, that it sort of like fell and rolled away. You see that Edgar is looking for something. So there's a little crystal on your dad's desk and then Edgar is sort of scrounging around for something as well. Cool, um, I'll leave the crystal for now. Let's see what Edgar's looking at. Edgar finds a little necromancer's pearl that is gray. And you realize that you haven't kept a track of your pearl. Your mom must have grabbed it for evidence a long time ago. This is Zane Darkshadow's necromancer's pearl and it is gray right now. So that means he's not dead. Or black is dead? Uh, I believe black is dead and white is alive. Oh, so he's like maybe lost somewhere. Or interesting, okay. Edgar, is this your dad? Is he, you think he might be alive? Maybe, all right. I'll check out this crystal. You see your dad, a little image of your dad appears setting up a crystal. Um, you see that a little version of you in the background in the apartment climbs up on a sofa with a little magnifying glass. Your mom comes in and says, Riz, get off the couch. You're gonna, there's nothing back there. Well, there is something back there. One of your blocks went back here. How did you find that? And she takes you off to the room. Your dad looks over and says, okay, this is Pac Guckack recording. Uh, it is August 31st, uh, about to head out on a, uh, Dangerous mission. Um, Bud, uh, I see a little nine-year-old you in the back running around. Bud, uh, you're nine years old right now. Um, I've already said goodbye to you, uh, but I don't think you really know how dangerous this is and I don't really want to tell you. Um, God, I had a whole thing prepared and now I, it feels kind of stupid. Kiddo, there's a lot that I want to be around to be able to tell you. Um, the world's a hard place for goblins. We're small. People look at us and see an image of a certain kind of creature, something that is wicked and disposable threatening, but also kind of a joke. It's the worst of all worlds. It's not really fair, but you have a ton of work ahead of you that in a more just world you wouldn't have to do. Knowing how hard a road you have ahead of you, I wanna say this, I'm not worried about you at all. I got nothing but hopes for you, kid. And hopefully you'll never have to see this. The clues are always out there. And the one thing nobody's counting on is that you'll never give up. When you're smaller than everything else in the world, the one thing that you can have bigger than everybody is will and grit. And that's you, kiddo. Love you, pal. Love you, Dad. I'd like to find his gun, because I want to kill <laughs> whoever did this with his gun. <laughs> you find an incredible midnight black arquebus <clears throat> with a silencer on it and a bandolier of 20 magical bullets on the side of it. Dope. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. You hear the key in the front door of your apartment. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna let my mom find me like this. Your mom walks in, you hear her bag drop, the front door doesn't even close, she just walks into this secret room. Hey mom, I know about dad. 
take it up. I thought there was a world where you wouldn't walk down the same road. But mom, we're all super bad. The whole family is super bad. <laughs> At first I thought it was just like me and you were bad, but dad's a bad too. We're just like this trio of freaking goblin bad mom. Do you see? This is so. This is so teen. <laughs> Honey, your dad was the most badass man I ever so knew. I'm not going to tell me. I know you thought it would make me sad, but it just makes me happy. <laughs> you see, she says, this is my greatest fear come to life. <laughs> the reaction you're having, even more than you being angry at me, this was what I was trying to avoid. Right. Because the world will knock you on your head. Are you ready for that? I've got a uh, nimble escape. So, <laughs> <laughs> your mom kisses you on the head and says, F it. No fighting destiny, I guess. <sighs> Do I smell alcohol on you? I had a little bit of alcohol after, after, <laughs> while, oh, okay, first of all, all my friends were drinking. I only had a little alcohol after I found out about dad. So, sue me. All right. <laughs> Let's go visit Dad sometime, and I'll tell you all about him, okay? I, I would really like that, Mom. Jeez. And I'm sorry that I went through your stuff. It's fine. Honestly, I think your dad would have approved of you finding out this way more than any other. It was really bad. <laughs> she kisses you on the head, goes off to bed, uh, uh, and you uh, sleep that night as well. Uh, the next morning, you guys meet up at school. What do you guys do? Guys, uh... I broke the case, all right? My father told me about the harpy, all right? And the harpy, is it, there's ruins on the ship, all right? Shh. Fine, there's ruins on the ship, right? And that means that the ship can't be seen by divination. So it, it, that's how it snuck by the oracle. But have uh, we thought if the, if the ship's wealth is being laundered through the bank? Guys, I, I also found out some stuff. Turns out my dad was okay, a super right. bad. He was kind of like a special agent type guy. He was going in real deep. I found his gun's really cool. Whoa! I show him a magic gun. Oh, it's even more magic than my than my gun. Um, but anyway, uh, apparently, th I, f I found some evidence. There was a false wall in my in my apartment. I guess we had oh, a two so bedroom. Cool. Um, I hope Galir has one of those. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so I went in there and I found my dad's desk and it, it turns out that the harpy didn't really sink. But that's what I said. I said the exact same thing and nobody cared. Right, but it's the Cerulean. The Cerulean was the ship that had the oracle in it. Yeah, the Cerulean did sink. The Cerulean... Unless it didn't sink and it had these, these runes on it of illusion and it just was an illusion that it sank and actually it's just sailing around. Why would they want... That makes sense because everyone's been saying why would, why would it oracles and like get onto a ship that was going to sink. Right, but why do they need an oracle? You Except guys, that maybe they need the oracle to stop I the... found out something too. Is it that you're gay? I think I no. might be gay. No. No. Okay, but really no. though, I just you told us when something you were drunk. really quick. I'm a little hungover and maybe this will take me 10 minutes to say. I hope, I hope it doesn't take that long, but I just want to say we are friends and for a while, you know what? Uh, the corn god was my religion, but now seeing you guys as my friends, that's what I believe in. And you guys were there with me through exactly from kisses to kiss. So many kisses. I can't sleep sometimes on thinking about all the kisses. Wow. The kisses that come. I know that. Kisses that pass. I'm just kisses quietly thinking currently... about realizing I've never kissed anybody. Just so many kisses. I'm drowning in kisses at this point. Older people kisses. Young people kisses. Kisses for all of you. I kiss everyone. <laughs> oh, Ooh, God, no, yeah. You That's my second kiss. That was my first kiss. That's <laughs> great. That kiss. Well, I'm gay. So you're going to have to talk about this in therapy later. <laughs> no, it set you up for failure. <laughs> what? So I had a 
did we deduce that the cerulean is the harpy? You yeah. guys have deduced that the cerulean is the harpy. And we believe in, it to be missing. It you believe it to be, be, that, you believe like, it to be missing illusion. or that its illusory capability was, what allowed, was, was what allowed the harpy to become the cerulean without anybody noticing. Can right? we assume that you filled us in on everything yeah, you read? Yeah, yeah. I told you so all perhaps the, did you tell us everything about Seacaster? Yeah. Okay, so oh, perhaps okay. they are. Perhaps the bank is bribing your dad because he knows it's. I didn't want to say there. this, but it took another strong man beating the <laughs> out of someone. Do you think they convinced your dad to commit the other, like rough up? Right. My father couldn't be beaten into anything. Oh, I have oh, something. Uh, two things. I learned about, first, this thing called docking. I don't, it's just very interesting. But second, the more important thing is, my parents are working on this big power source. Are we still looking for a power source or anything? Or does Oh, for it, the palimpsest. Yeah, yeah, I think we B, well, B says he could. Wait, are they making it for the bank? She said the arcade, but why well, we maybe they're the making arcade? it for you the bank. You got here the hangman say, Master, trouble at the girl's house. There's trouble at the girl's right, house. Let's uh, how do we get there? Go the car, the clear. <laughs> Let's get Galea well, yeah, to drive Galea, us in Galea, we need Galea, to borrow your car. Well, you guys are at school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going, going to the lunch, uh, lunch lad. Oh, says, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, lunch lad. What? No, I have <laughs> to... try to pick his pockets for his keys. I have to warm... Oh, so yeah, like, yeah, I got a 23. <laughs> so yeah. man. He says, I can't go right now. I have to warm up the hot pockets. Oh, okay. Well, then you <laughs> keep doing good. your job, and thank you for everything you've done. Thank huh? you so much. Uh, very well. Galea, sometimes I prefer you to Gorthalax. We run. Galir, you have an open hot pocket on your head. Galir, I, d I actually <laughs> don't want you to be dad anymore. What? I don't want you to be my dad anymore. Hurtful. And there is some elven way bread that I just pulled out of Everyone's face. introducing <laughs> a different topic to me right now. I might be gay. Oh my you god. You were for sure, right? I mean, I'm leaving my options open. Okay. Uh, quick, Are you Glare. still drunk from last night? No, I'm fine. I got some coffee. It was Irish. I'm not Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, you guys jump in Galir's car. Wait, on the way out, do I see Rog at all? Uh, let me roll. Um, you do not see Rog on the way out. I just wanted to blast him real quick. <laughs> um, uh, you guys dip out of there, you grab Galir's car, you head over to where the hangman is. The hangman is in the front yard, covered in blood, Surrounded by a whole bunch of shirtless satyrs that have like tattoos and look insane, and there's a bunch of just like dead, uh, uh, what look like weird elemental creatures, like summoned fiends and stuff like that. Uh, just out in the suburban, there's like a scene of slaughter. What? So there's the hangman. What, what happened? What happened? Master, these rad satyrs flipped out and killed all of these summoned beings here. Uh, you see that the lead satyr comes over and says, hey, which one of you, which one of you is? You are the boyfriend. I don't know if I'm a boyfriend. Yes, he grabs correct. you and kisses you firmly on the mouth and says, <laughs> I am the father of your woman. Okay. Was that your second kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Baffling. He says, kisses today. someone put my girl in this ball. <gasps> Of is it a crystal? <laughs> you see there's a palimpsest. Okay, we have lost we every can, other palimpsest. Get, we have to We can get her out of there. Yeah, get, we think we can get her out. He says, you can get her out. I trust you. When you get her out, you know what you must do. I will give her, yes, I do. I will. I think he means the honorable thing is to marry her. Oh. <laughs> I will. What? <laughs> oh, no, okay. we worship the god of wine and ecstasy. We have wine. Yeah, I have a bunch then of wine. You know open what you wine. must do. I have to get drunk with her? That's a start, my man. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, god. Very well. We will return to our home and continue to watch daytime television. Is it cool if I have some <laughs> of this punch? Oh, that is a religious hallucinogenic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. There's some melon in it. Uh, I didn't expect you that. You guys dip out, um, and you have this palimpsest uh, that apparently Zelda has been sealed inside. Of. Uh, can I detect magic on the um, things that got conjured? Uh, yes, you can. Um, go ahead and give me an arcana check. Great. I can do the same thing. Uh, 21. Uh, 21, uh, these were conjured by your sister's magic. How the hell? This is this is Hailwind. Get out of 
jail? Did she? Wait, maybe that Penelope that is the one that's. <gasps> Wait, that I bet Penelope is your sister. I bet your sister's in disguise as Penelope. Maybe. But she's in jail. Yeah, so I'm saying. But she got out. Maybe. I oh, hate her I, so I also much. didn't tell you guys that Zane and um, D Zane and Biz were attacked at the exact same time. Oh yeah, right. That's so, what I was saying. Do you think maybe Bill Seacaster was that second attacker? I don't think so. I, I think, think it was if they own him. Someone oh. strong enough. I think he's just muscle for something. I don't okay, think yeah. I don't think Seacaster would beat up a child. I think they would yes. see it as an honorable fight. We have to find Penelope. Yeah, we Mom, have to. Uh, you get a little bing on your crystal. It's an article from your mother being sent to you, a little news article. Oh, I hate it when she sends me articles. It's probably it's about sad. marriage. Yeah, it's probably just close it. No. Just <laughs> War declared between Falinel and Solace. The government has discovered that an elven strike team liberated a uh, diplomatic family member from custody, and Solace has declared war. Uh, that would be uh, your sister. So I think I maybe Hell accidentally no. started a war. That have been fast. Right? Well, they broke, they well, broke they her out. Should we, so they broke should we just <laughs> That's what started the Let's war. Let's just text Biz and, and see what he says we should do with the crystal. There's a war, should I? Should we pick a headquarters? Should like, we, we don't have to go to school, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's, we, yeah, yeah, there's I'm a war. school. Yeah. Should we call, should we find out how, because Alwyn must have uh, got out of jail. That's what it said, right? She broke free? Jail. I know this is crazy, but I think Strong Tower Luxury Apartment should be our main headquarters. Great. Can we, can we, <laughs> so. go, we let's go. Uh, You've stolen Gleer's car, so you're good to go. Yeah, let's cool. go okay. to. I think, well, wait, we needed earlier, and we can ask Biz and to see if this makes any sense. And also, I'm so stupid, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But we needed We have the power, power source from source. your parents. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, bring Biz to your parents' house and we yeah. can. Okay, we yeah. Need. Let's go to my parents' house with Biz. Um, you go to your parents' house, uh, and do you guys text Biz yeah, as well? Yeah, we'll text you guys to meet us. Uh, Biz uh, shows up there. Maybe we shouldn't text him. Maybe we should show up to his house right, and make sure it's not getting intercepted. Cool, you pick up Biz, you see us. Hey gang, what's going on? Get in the car, Biz. Don't can, I do, can I do a check to see if it's really him? Sure. Oh yeah, I would like to do that too. <laughs> uh, the, oh. I have a Oh, I didn't do my rolls for the day. Yeah, you go. Um, uh, you see that yeah, it's it, it seems like it's biz to you guys. I get a twenty six insight. Yes, it, oh, great. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it's biz. All right, biz, All right. you check out. Uh, All right. You see that uh, you guys are driving. You're looking on your phone. It's like a weird, scary day. You see, like this sudden declaration of war because an elven military unit performed an operation on Silesian soil. An immediate. You know, that's an act of war. I mean, I'm it's driving, insane that my right? parents would just text me an article to tell me this and not be like, you should come Can home. Can we look more information, like what them. preceded this happening? Um, we see that she broke out of the jail cell. She was broken out by an elven strike team. Yes. That means that Falinel sent a crew. Deeper in the article, mm -hmm. it says that your sister has been remanded to elven custody, which is interesting. She's remanded to Elven custody. Meaning so that they also are like at home. Should we go to your, your I don't house? Think we should no. go. No. no. Let's break out this path. Let's see if we yes. can get this uh, house. You guys remember the Thistle Spring tree? Big old f power source. You see that Biz is there and goes, Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, daddy like. <laughs> yeah, Biz. I throw no. up a little bit on my mouth. Um, should one of us be spying on your house? I, I think I'll, I'm gonna be the muscle. I'm gonna go into bouncer mode and just uh, kind of strut around in my German Shepherd mode. You see the Thistle Springs are there. Your parents come out and say, hey, Blotto, how's it going? Uh, kind of bad. Um, you remember that girl I told you about? Yeah. She's in here. She's, uh, what? she got stuck. Uh, some, some magic put her in here, but I think if we use the power source that you have here, we could maybe start to get her out. Biz looks at it and goes, I've got an idea. Check it out. We can't move this thing in a car, or I don't know if we can, but can you guys beat me tonight at the Elb Valley Ball? Because we could hook this bad boy up to the new arcade they're building there, and that's gonna power this bad boy. We could get this power says cracked in no time with the amount of juice running through that place. Wait, this was already going to the arcade, yeah. right? You yeah, see so. the Thistle Springs nod their head. It says, bingo, Bango, guys. Wait, that's Packer, weird. back at it again. Wild. 
It's wild biz. Yeah, biz. Okay. So That's kind of weird, though. Why was it already going to the arcade? Is someone else trying to do something with these palimpsests? We just got to get her out, I yeah. think. So okay. let's just go. Yeah. Well, we That's have to protect the palimpsest before it's Yeah, definitely. Um, how are you guys going to... Oh, uh, actually, you see that, yeah, the Thistle Springs say, we already have a van to move it, if you guys... Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll load it. We'll accompany in. you to the, uh, to the old mall. I'm going to text Galera and tell him I'm still borrowing his car. He texts you back and says, I have made several reports to the police today. <laughs> you need to tell me these things in advance. Um, I said, call the, call the pigs off, Galera. <laughs> you guys roll over to the mall. Uh, it's after hours. You see the Thistle Springs go in. This is giant arcade. Ski ball, bing, 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 bing. All these wild machines everywhere. Hey, um, Mom and Dad, I think. Yeah. But like, if you guys got out of here, after, uh, we can handle it from here. I think. Okay, if you think that's, if you think that's wise, sure. Biz, um, you got it right. See, Biz says. Uh, do I you got, got it? it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, I okay. got it. Yeah, for right. sure. I, I text my mom K <laughs> like several <laughs> hours later. I Guys, I got a slushy if anyone wants them. It's in like one of those long yard That's things. a margarita. Who gave you a margarita? <laughs> um, what? Uh, it's war times. I'm sure everything's loose now. <laughs> Uh, you guys are walking in here. See, there's this giant glass case of all the rewards and shit that people have here. Huge, like, reward casing that's super rad. Uh, different prizes and shit in there. <laughs> hey, Biz. Yeah. You got dark vision? Yeah, I do. I do, too. Me, too. Me Can too. I cast Detect Good and Evil in this arcade? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I cast it. Um, uh, you Detect Good and Evil. Uh, there is a faint malevolent presence mm. uh, uh, in some of the games, as you st like one or two of the games has like a, a sort of um. faint malevolent presence in it. Can I do an Arcana check? Sure. Uh, I'd like to German Shepherd case it. Cool. Uh, Twenty-two. Um, you start looking around at the arcade stuff. Uh, you see that Biz uh, uh, quickly wheels the sort of like thing into the bag and says, uh, "Riz, you want to give me a hand, dude?" Yep. Uh, he goes, <laughs> sort of wheels it back, starts setting it up in like this back room with a bunch of machines around there. Um, uh, make a perception check for sure. me. I have a crazy idea. Uh, b -b -b 17. Um, as he's setting up, he goes, all right, well, we get this puppy purr. I'll be able to crack this pallet test in no time. Uh, you see that there is a little video game console, and you see that it's called uh, Lucky Stones on it. And you see that a little halfling girl <coughs> appears on the screen and goes, Hi, I'm Penny. Want to play? <laughs> what the f Um, You start to examine one of the games. You see a powerful conjuration on it. You detect a sort of malevolent presence from the game that Adine is looking at. There's... What are you saying? There's uh, it's it's some kind of powerful magic on it. So, uh, and you guys are in like the I, like the front room kind of mm -hmm. area here. Can I can I press the button? See what's going on with this? Um, yeah, you look at put it. Put a little you're, silver you, in there. You start to put the game in there. You see that something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katya. I'm here to chop. <laughs> Fighting game. <laughs> this might. Uh, if I cast Guardian of Faith in at a point in this arcade, it lasts for eight hours. Can I ca cast that like yes. ahead of time? Because it feels crazy and I want something on our side. When you cast Guardian of Faith, uh, you see that Biz looks over at you and says, Riz, what's going on, my man? Uh, that is one of the missing girls. She used to be my babysitter and she's in that game. Uh, you see, he looks at you and says, Hey, can I be super honest with you for a sec? Guys like us don't really get a chance to be cool. You know what I mean? Sure. And, um, you know, it's not like fair. Like, hot guys always get, like, all the attention. Oh, my God. But, like, are you giving me a nice guy speech right now? He <laughs> says, but here's the thing, dude. Here? With these, you see that he takes a blank palimpsest out of his pocket. He says, we get to call the shots when they're in here. 
Oh, so we make the games. Got it. Dude, are you the one that's hooking all these up? Uh, what can I say, dude? I'm good at what I do. You see, he says, You son of a I got one extra one from our new supplier, and I've had my sights on Miss Abernant for some time. Can I, can I see it? Uh, shh. Are you in, dude? Because you feel like a cool guy. Dude, I am in. You see, he uh, says, take a look, go for it. What do you think? Take it, I pull my gun out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need everybody here to roll initiative. Oh, oh that little oh. creep. That's it for this week on Fantasy High. Jeez. Tune in next week to see exactly how the game gets played. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna bring his little back. <laughs> We find ourselves at the arcade, in the back room around this giant power structure filled with glowing crystals. An insane phantasmagoria of rainbow color begins to enshroud the arcade. I run up, I grab Fabian, and I say, trust me. What the f are you doing? Get ready to find coins, or else you'll die. Welcome, player one. <laughs> Fight. What's happening? Where am I? <laughs> Riz, Riz, is that you? That's me. I think we're f how many dice you picking up, dude? Don't know. Hey, put what those dice down. 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 No! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, my god. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> That's it for this chapter of Dimension 20. But wait, what harkens on the wind? <laughs> Speak to me, bird. More full episodes? of Dropout.tv's own Dimension 20, available with a free trial that you could sign up for today? Hopefully our viewers are brave enough to answer the call. There he goes. Biz, Glitterdoo, and Riz Guckgack face off. Last session, Riz pulled a gun. <laughs> we are going to begin with a box of doom roll. What? Wow, uh, already? 